Hi, my name is Wes. <laughs> and I'm Jess. <laughs> Hi, my name is Wes. And I'm Jess. And together with our daughter Izzy, or Isabel, um, we're going to be attempting to travel around Australia. I don't know about attempting, but going to be traveling around Australia um, this year in our van Bevan. It's a 2017 Mercedes Sprinter van. Um, yeah, and we thought we'd, we'd just do this video and explain why we're doing what we're, we're doing. Um, so really the whole thing started with Wes um, making this decision due to his health, I guess, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, I was born with something called um, Tetralogia Fellows, which is a um, congenitive uh, heart um, disease. So um, that sort of impacted me as I got older uh, with work and, and, and a few things. So um, I had a couple of open heart surgeries um, as a kid and then, um, what's it, seven years ago now. Um, and just, yeah stress of, of working and, and um, the industry I was in was, was really sort of a high stress situation and and with the arrival of um, our daughter Isabel and, and just wanting to spend some time with my, my lovely family. Um, yeah, we, we, yeah we, we didn't think this would be a possibility but um, yeah, it sort of happened quite quickly, didn't it? Ooh. And we really thought it would be a fun adventure and a great experience for our daughter to even though she won't remember it I think this kind of thing really builds um, character and she'll learn so many things that she won't realize that she's picked up from this but she'll use later in life I think we've had friends that have done a trip like this and their kids really learned a lot um, and then we thought I think we thought it was still a bit of a fantasy though mm. um, so we kind of just would watch YouTube videos of other people doing this kind of thing. And then we just thought, oh, that'd be great to do, but we have a house, but we have a mortgage, but we have a dog. And there was a lot of buts. And then I think we just decided, well, one day Wes just said, let's, let's do it. Um, but that all relied on having someone take care of our dog because there was no way we were giving him up forever. Um, and that was a bit hard to find someone we could trust to take him over because he is a bit of a special He's a handful. dog yeah. <laughs> special um, and then it also depended on being able to sell our house and, and sell our house for the right amount of money to be able to afford to buy a van outright and have no debts and then also to have some have money to, yeah to yeah. live off for the year as well yeah 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 so we sold the house and <clears throat> we bought a van yeah happened pretty yeah. quick didn't it um, and I think Wes would have ideally as well in an ideal world would have liked to have built the van um, not the van itself but the fit out it would have been a really fun project mm. um, yeah I was away for work for six seven weeks um. so Wes is away on a six week work assignment um, and <coughs> so as much as we would have liked to have Fit out the van out. Fit out the van ourselves. Um, we're not going to have enough time when he gets back. We'd only have a month before wanting to leave for our trip. Um, and if we did it ourselves, still paying rent, not working, it just would cost too much. So we decided to get van fit on the Gold Coast to do our design for us. So we're going to go drop off the van. Izzy and I are going to go drop off the van today with Nana. Okay. Um, and it should take about eight weeks. And hopefully we'll get to go down and see it along the way, see how it's coming along. We're very, very excited. And hopefully we get to go for a swim. And yeah, people spend months, 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 building, months. building these things um, on their own. And yeah, we, when we sort of made the decision in... September, October, sort of 2021. We, um, yeah, didn't didn't have that time. Have that much time. And also, uh, you need to have that again. You're digging into the, your your funds for on the road, taking that time off work. Your time, yeah, to build something. Time, yeah. And electrician, all the things you need, like you know, proper electricians and people to install safe seats, and 
it just would have been too much. So we've got a really great company called VanFit on the Gold Coast, a guy named Jay and Luke and his team to, to build our vision to life. Yeah, we sort of designed uh, what we what we wanted. Um, I was watching all the YouTube videos and things that Jess, Jess spoke about. Um, I think the main, main concern was having somewhere for, for Isabel, um, making sure she was she was safe um, in the van and that was done properly um, so yeah there's not a lot of sort of secondhand vans that have that that third seat um, so yeah we want to create bed. our own vision <laughs> and, and and the sleeping arrangements too which I'm sure we'll see in, in due course but we're yeah. hoping she'll sleep in yeah <laughs> yeah that could be interesting our bed's a bit tight but yeah, <laughs> um, yeah um, so I guess yeah start of October End of it. September, we we bought the van second hand. Just started out life as a as a cargo van. Um, just yeah, normal normal Mercedes van. Bought it second hand, um, and then yeah, at the same time we sort of found this this place, um, Van Fit, which Jess has mentioned, on the Gold Coast, and um, yeah, sort of took it there. And then I think the day after we took it down, oh no. I didn't even. You dropped it off, didn't you? Yeah, because you were away for work already. It was, was very ready. rushed. It was rushed. very, very rushed. Yeah. Whoop whoop! My first time driving the van. Taking it for a test drive. See how I go. Traded the car in. Yeah, it was all all happening pretty quick, and then, yeah. We were lucky. There was a lot of um, van filled places that we researched, and most of them were booked up. You couldn't even start the build for another year mm. um, because it seems in the pandemic that it's quite a popular thing to be doing and we just so luckily got um, one free spot, a cancellation with this company and they were just incredible, like they really, they worked hard to our deadline, they were flexible, they even gave us some great ideas and input and the craftsmanship's really good. Um, it was fun for, for me and well, we've never built a house or anything before so it's kind of like a tiny little insight into that like designing everything custom and choosing um, I took Isabel to um, Laminex and National Tiles and we got to look at colors and small match scale. small together yeah it was really fun and it gives us a good idea of like yeah if we were to build a place one day like what kind of things go and what we like and yeah anyway so we'll do a, a van tour separately to this and show off all the inside but this is basically just introduction into who we are and and what we're doing and um we talk about the route a little bit or just the route the route the, the planned route yeah we've <laughs> yeah we've done i don't know lots of well we, we we think we've done lots of sort of research on places we want to want to go to and um the best route so using all the all the apps that are out there um but yeah we, we found uh this wiki camps which everyone everyone uses i'm sure that's no surprise um, and hip camp people. and air camp. Hip camp and air camp, but yeah, with wiki camps, you can you know plan your plan your route and points of interest and campgrounds and things. Um, so yeah, we just both sort of research stuff that we we liked and put it on, and I guess it sort of plots out the plots out the map for you. And we um, yeah, we sort of hope we want to chase the weather a little bit and go go south um, while it's still summer um, or the end of summer. Um, Sort of down through New South Wales and and Victoria, and then um, yeah, have to visit all the states and go to Tasmania, then across to South Australia, and and at this stage, West Australia's not open yet, but That's hopefully <laughs> opening up by the time we get there, um, and then yeah, at the mid year we'll sort of be there and, and heading up north to Northern Territory um, when it's when it's winter or the dry season up the top end. Um, and come back down through the middle and and sort of figure of eight um, back up through country New South Wales and um, Queensland and then sort of tropical uh, far north Queensland and back back to Brisbane. To home, yeah. Mm. Which which is home, I guess. So that's mm. our starting point, Brisbane. And we're kind of giving ourselves. Um, I guess we budgeted for twelve months. I guess on a tight budget. So we're hoping that we can see most of our points of interest and make it back in time for 12 months. Um, but you know, we're very, uh, what's the word? Um, we've been very realistic about it. So we know like, I'm sure we won't, but if we hated it, like you could come back or if we ran out of money, you can come back. And 
you could work or you could work somewhere for a bit and build more funds if you're really having a great time and even stay longer. Um, we've got no deadlines to be anywhere really at a specific time. We're happy to change our route whenever, so it's going to be pretty fly by the seat, I guess, of yeah. our plans yeah, and I just think see. We yeah. both sort of we'd like both organising, so I think it'll be a bit of a departure of um, what we're normally like. What we're normally like, yeah, to sort of just take each day as it comes but yeah. uh, that, that's what we're sort of doing this for is to um, get away from that yeah step structure. out of the race a little bit and yeah. just yeah that's the whole point is that like Wes has been high level of stress and work 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 and then I've been pretty much I would say like 60% of the time acting like a single mom so I've been like stuck at home not stuck like I love her <laughs> but, but I'm always at home for the child which is hard work and this is just a way for us to yeah sort of yeah. relax have no deadlines have no schedules take turns enjoying our daughter giving each other a break now and again also having some quality bonding time um, so hopefully <laughs> hopefully it all works out that way and we have a great time and a great experience and we look forward to sharing it with all our friends and family and anybody else who's interested in following along who might be wanting to do the same thing and just wants to see how it works for a, a family with a small toddler. Exciting. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're Jess and Wes uh, yeah. with Izzy in the van, we'll Bevan. We'll kiss you to you as well later. <laughs> yeah, we will. Um, and we are Life is Bendable. That's us. <laughs> Have fun. Play. Yeah. What do you reckon? Is that good? <laughs>